Uh, what happens is I have no interest in, and I can't, don't have the ability where we are to make a lower price instrument. So what you do is you create an opportunity for people to make inferior copies. And uh, you really keep people that are just learning out of the ability. So let me hear you play. See how I got off the hook? <laughs> Uh, so, so we have a cold boogie. What kind of amp do we got there? Uh, express. Oh, an express? Do you know how to use that amp? Do you need help? So you might before the night's over. Your music. All right. <laughs> I like it too. <laughs> no, no, on a serious note, I uh, I take a lot of things from Ingve Malmsteen. Cool. Um, sure, you've heard of Ingve. Absolutely. Ingve. <laughs> Actually, uh, the the first thing I heard Ingve play um, was from the Steeler album, and it was called uh, Hot on Your Heels. And it was the first, it's like a three and a half minute solo that he played. You guys know that, right? Yeah. That's sick. When I heard that, I was like, what the hell? <laughs> yeah. All right, so, so, all right, so let's, let's channel some Ingve inspiration. Okay? I'm going to show you something. This is going to be really see his cool. face. Actually, this is a perfect segue. So we were talking about Moe's and E and how to make changes. So one of the things that Ingve does all the time is that he plays in the Phrygian mode, right? Okay, um, I'm, I'm taking a jazz lesson. Yeah. Just say that. Um, we're going through modes right now, uh -huh. so I'm, I'm not very familiar. That's okay. This is going to be really easy. Okay. All right, I'm going to break it down. Now, Ingve actually plays in the Phrygian dominant mode, which because he makes the five chord in a major, but we're not going to do that. So, um, this, uh, okay, so we'll do this over E. So if you play an E minor chord, that's going to be major. We need it to be minor, so perfect. Right, that one there, or this one up here, you can do two. Right? So do you know the bar chord form for an E minor? Come on, kid. Like a minor chord like this? I'm learning it right now. Wow. That's very close. Do that. Second finger. Okay, so that's the chord or the lower one is, is fine. Um, a normal E minor sound would be like this. Play the chord for me. Even if you just want to play, even if you just want to play a power chord version, that's fine. All right, all right. Turn up your amp a bit. Here's this would be a normal minor scale. sound of that, right? You hear the tonality. Now watch this. It's going to be one note difference. All right? Instead of making an F sharp, like, all right, I'm going to change that F sharp to an F natural. Now watch how the total change, the total sound of this mode in this field changes. This time, don't play an E minor. Just play like an E power chord, like this. Yeah. Like, get that heavy sound you had before. Okay, now do like a like a chunky rhythm. Move that chord up a half step and do like a metallic. Perfect. 